Good morning. Hello, my dear friends. First of all, I would like to tell you thank you for watching me, for following my page, my activity. This is really a pleasure of me to have you here and that uh, you support my ideas about Ukraine. This day in Ukraine we have not so good weather, mostly dark, uh, rain, <laughs> but, <laughs> but nevertheless I think it's uh, just need to keep a good mood and everything will be okay. So today I prepare for you a very popular and very interesting topic about uh, Ukrainian flag. <laughs> so uh, this flag we did together with my son yesterday. Yes, the, this is handmade. <laughs> so um, why Ukrainian flag is blue and yellow? What is history of this flag? How old it is? First of all, I would like to represent you this group of men. So, it happened in 1848. This year, a group of men, or probably also women, I don't know, <laughs> met in Lviv and they were decided about uh, their state, about Ukraine, uh, about its flag. <laughs> Such kind of group of uh, people called the Supreme Ruthenian Council. Ruthenian means uh, Rus, uh, Ruthenians. Because uh, as I told you before, Ukraine came from the big country called Kiev Rus. So people who live in uh, the territory of this country call themselves Ruthenian. This country was unfortunately destroyed by Mongolians. But uh, nevertheless, people kept uh, um, this history, its history about Kiev Rus, about powerful state for many centuries. And in the middle of the 19th century, a group of people, Ukrainian patriotical people, decided to make some kind of patriotical organization. They called Ruthenian, Ruthenian Council. The main uh, uh, their topic was uh, Ukrainian Unition because in that time Ukraine was divided between Austro-Hungary Western Ukraine came to Austro-Hungary and um, the main uh, part of Ukraine was under the Russian Empire so they would like to unite to join different parts of Ukraine and it was the main idea but how they were going to do this? By spreading uh, the, the ideas uh, between people. Because uh, they wanted to use Ukrainian language in school. And in such way they would like to popularize, uh, popularize Ukrainian language and culture. Also they would like to print Ukrainian book. They would like to... Uh, to make documentary in Ukrainian language. The head of uh, this um, group of people was a Greek Catholic bishop. Yeah, because in that time in Western Ukraine very popular was Greek Catholic Church. It wasn't popular in cities, such, kind, such cities as Lviv, because in Lviv there are mainly lived Polish people and they like Catholic Church, they uh, visit Catholic Church. But in villages, in small towns where uh, Ukrainian traditionally lived, very popular was Greek Catholic Church. This church kept uh, Orthodox uh, ritual but in the same time, it's um, the head of this church uh, was Pope, the Rome. Yeah, and till now we have Greek Catholic Church, especially it's popular in Western Ukraine. So throughout its um, priest, this organization popularized Ukrainian idea, 
uh, Ukrainian language between people. And once uh, its member got a uh, very good question. If we have a Ukrainian... Um, if we're going to have Ukrainian state, uh, what uh, kind of flag we need to use for this um, state? And uh, one of the members of this organization told, uh, do you remember that uh, in the 12th century we had um, uh, our own king, Danilo Halitsky. Uh, he was uh, the prince of Kiev Rus after Mongolian invasion. You know, the first time uh, the center of Ukraine of Kiev Rus was in Kiev, but after Mongolians conquered um, most part of, U of Kiev Rus, um, uh, many people went away from Kiev. They uh, ran away to Western Ukraine. Mostly Western Ukraine started to be the main in that time. And the main ruler uh, in this kingdom, kingdom was Danilo Halitsky. He tried to be friendly with Mongolians. He tried to, uh, to make some agreement with Pope. He supported church. And his flag was blue. And on this blue... Mm, closes, you can see a lion, lion who climb uh, the um, cliff. The lion is yellow. So, this man thought, why we can't make uh, the national uh, flag like blue and yellow, according to the flag of uh, Danilo Halitsky. By the way, this flag is now the flag of Lviv, because Danilo Halitsky, he establish Lviv, uh, now the most popular Western Ukrainian city. Uh, this emblem now on the flag of uh, this, uh, this town. Very interesting story that uh, in 14 and 10 there was the big battle near the Grunwald, the Grunwaldska Bitva it's called. In that time, we had no uh, state anymore, we had no uh, prince, but nevertheless, uh, Ruthenian um, territory um, have some autonomy. It was separated from other uh, state, because um, uh, in this battle, from one side were Poland, Lithuanian kingdom, and also between them was Ruthenian, the Ruthenian kingdom, it's called by Polish historian Jan Gludusz. Gludusz. From other side were Teutonic Orden, Teutonic Crusader, Crusader Germans who lived in that time, who was established in the area of modern Germany, and they would like to spread their power to the East, but Poland and Lith Lith Lithuania were against this, so that is why this battle happened. And uh, Poland, the Ruthenians and Lithuanians, they won this battle. Here you can see Ukrainian, this, this flag that belonged to Ruthenian. It's, uh, you can see here blue clothes and on its uh, yellow line, so they use it. Very interesting that um, till now we have uh, the name one of the heroes of this battle. He was uh, Ruthenians or Ukrainians and his name was Ivan Sush Sushek. Uh, Ivan Sushek. Uh, this is he on Ukrainian stamp. Very interesting that he got a word from Polish king and he got some lands uh, nearby Lviv. He became like landlord. <laughs> yes. Till now we knew his, uh, his name and in 2005 uh, Ukrainian post uh, stamp uh, made uh, post um, post stamp uh, belong uh, dedicated to Ivan Sushek so you can see uh, him on the Ukrainian post, post uh, stamp uh, here. He on the horse with um, uh, sparrow. Yeah. The most interesting question: What uh, 
me in this color, blue and yellow. If you go to Ukraine, if you travel around Ukraine in summer, you can see beautiful landscape, blue sky and yellow field like this. And this is uh, really look like Ukrainian flag. For instance, here is Ukrainian flag, yellow, and uh, in the top this is blue, like um, sky. So many guides can tell you that uh, uh, Ukrainian f uh, flag means uh, uh, yellow field and blue sky. But many historians think that uh, this question is more complicated. For instance, if you go to San Sofia, inside uh, of this cathedral in Kiev, you can see the food image of Virgin Mary. Her clothes is blue, and she have a um, gold um, coat around her, gold shawl around her head. So many historians think that blue is symbol of the poor spirit of Virgin Mary, and gold coat, her gold coat, is symbol of eternal life. Uh, so together they mix, uh, and um, this image was very important for Ukrainians because Ukrainians from the old times thought that Virgin Mary protect them. She raised her hand, and in such way in the um, in praying, she protects, she pray um, for other motherland to, to the God. Very popular, uh, Virgin Mary was among her Cossacks in the 16th, 17th century. Every autumn, Cossacks celebrate the big uh, festival called Pokrov. Pokrov means that uh, Virgin Mary um, cover all people by her shovel, shovel, the big shovels, <laughs> and you can see how um, Virgin Mary protect the uh, Cossacks and Tsar uh, and uh, Metropolitans, so all people who lived uh, here. Very interesting icon from the 17th, 18th century, typical for Cossack Baroque style, very bright, the clothes of the Virgin Mary is very bright, red, very well decorated, as, as you see. So, probably, probably this is true, that the other flag got its color from the old image of Virgin Mary, from Saint Sophia. And, at the end, Ukrainian flag was forbidden for many years. For 70 years, Soviet authority did not recognize Ukrainian flag. It was forbidden. But in 1991, the group of um, patriotical people came to parliament and they hold Ukrainian flag. So it was symbol that Ukraine, uh, Ukraine renew, Ukrainian survive. And the, uh, the um, the leader of this movement was Vyacheslav Chernobyl. The, it was the great man who fought for Ukrainian identity during the Soviet time. He was sent to Siberia, he was staying in prison, he was jurist, he tried to protect uh, um, Ukrainian intelligentsia from uh, Stalin, from uh, Soviet leaders, and at the end uh, he hold this flag and take it to parliament. So it was the great event for Ukrainians. So uh, for now, every year we celebrate so ki such kind of the day of Ukrainian flag. Uh, it's happened every 23 of August. Uh, because uh, on 24 of August we have Ukrainian Independent Day. <laughs> so hope uh, hope you like uh, this story about Ukrainian flag. <laughs> yes, I try to uh, make for you something um, popular that's popular among <laughs> among people, <laughs> but in the same time make some 
um, some uh, historical facts about uh, the flag. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for watching my video. I'm thinking what kind of topic we will be talking about in the future. You can make um, write me in comment what you would like to uh, um, to li uh, listen to learn about Ukraine. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and uh, I wish you have a very very good weekend. Yeah. Enjoy um, your weekend. Uh, nevertheless, nevertheless uh, this uh, cold uh, winter. I hope in some times we will have snow and uh, we will have the real winter. <laughs> so I see you soon.